We are discussing kosher meat. Okay, the electricity, please. The deputy prime minister briefed in details the cabinet today about the discussions and the negotiations of the prime minister with the president of the United States of America in Washington. And? And, uh, and please ask me questions. If I'll be enabled, I'll be glad to answer them. Okay. Okay. I know nothing about it. Have you heard reports that President Sadat is due in Washington this week? We do not have such a report at all. Thank you. Thank you, too. Sir, there are reports out of Washington that the talks are snagged, that there's a deadlock. I wonder if you could appraise us of the status and if you're optimistic personally about the outcome. The last meeting, uh, as far as Israel time, uh, took place uh, at dawn this morning. And uh, what I can say from the full reports we got, I got in writing is this, that the mission which the Prime Minister set for himself, I think, uh, was achieved. He went there to discuss three main subjects. One is the negotiations. Secondly is the developments in the area in the light of what happened in Iran and other areas, and thirdly, uh, bilateral problems. All these subjects were fully discussed in quite a number of meetings, some between the President and Mr. Begin alone, and some in the mission. I think the Israeli views was put fully. I think they were explained, and uh, in response also to answer, the position of the government of Israel today is clarified. Now, on the issues of the developments in the area and the bilateral problems, I think there is a lot of understanding between the two countries. There is no confrontation. In fact, I would say, from what I gather, it's quite a lot of understanding. As for the negotiations, uh, I think what we shall have to wait now, either today or in the coming, next, uh, coming few days, is for the United States to come forth with suggestions how the negotiations should continue now that the stand of Israel is fully known. These two-way talks continuing between President Carter and Mr. Begin? Well, as I said, the last meeting uh, was uh, early this dawn, uh, as far as we are concerned. I'm not so sure that uh, anything was decided about a, a meeting or not, but uh, I wouldn't preclude any developments on that subject. It depends. But there are no suggestions yet from the Americans how to resume the talks? No, as I said, I think uh, that we should expect uh, in the coming few days, maybe tomorrow, 
uh, how to proceed now, now that the positions of both parties are well known. There have been reports that President Sadat might come to, to the talks this week. Is there any chance of that? I don't know. I've heard, as you did, that some sources in Cairo said so, and then some sources denied that. I haven't got any firm information that this is what's going to happen. doesn't mean by that that I preclude that. It's possible. I wouldn't say it's probable. Well, one more thing. I wonder if uh, there are reports in the press here of a new settlement in the works south of Nablus. I wonder what the status of that is and what you could say about that. I don't know of any decision concerning such a settlement. Is it discussed today by the Cabinet at all? I beg your pardon? Is that discussed today by the Cabinet? No, the uh, subject was not discussed at all. We spent about six hours today. Two hours were dedicated to the, my report based on the written dispatches to the cabinet, cabinet, and then four hours were dedicated to very important for us economical problems like prices of electricity, prices of meat, and so on. Thank you. Don't cut my hair. <laughs> Call it to be. Right. What do you think is going to happen with that? What's, uh, well, I can tell you what is my opinion. Yeah, would you please? Just, uh, I got today the record of the phone. Uh, stand is this. The, uh, if the, we are going to introduce color television, that <coughs> means that several hundred thousands of owners of TV set, set here will have to buy color color sets. That means that a lot of money in time of inflation now will be spent, particularly by very weak uh, strata of the population, on that. I think as far as the inflation and the general economic situation, that will be a negative uh, step. Opposed any uh, one-time efforts, let's say, to transmit a special event in color, because this encourages people to buy color television prior to a firm decision by the government.